This is an overview of the updates made to the Long-Term Athlete Development Mandate Implementation. The LTAD Competition Review and Mandate Implementation documents can be found on the Football Canada website through the Resources and LTAD tab. Due to the pandemic, it was decided that further review and data were required before the implementation of all the mandates. If a provincial sporting organization deems they are ready to mandate, they can mandate even the recommendations in the documents. Any recommendations or mandates under review will be reviewed in 2023 and put forward for approval at the next members meeting. This video will only highlight the mandates that were changed or are under review. This includes 1.A, 2.C, 2.D, 2.E, and 2.F. For Mandate 1.A, Age Categories, changes were made to the wording to better clarify the reasoning behind the mandates and ease of compliance. 2.C out-of-season tackle football is strongly recommended and under review so the LTAD committee can determine a tracking and sanctioning system to help athletes and parents and guardians easily identify which programs are sanctioned and which are not. 2.D tackle football weeks in the year is strongly recommended and under review so the LTAD committee can review the most recent concussion and injury data available. A week of contact is defined as where athletes wear full pads with an opportunity for contact at least once during the week. For Mandate 2E, Gradual Progression to 12-a-side football, this mandate is to be enforced starting in 2023. For Mandate 2F, Roster Size, one change was made to the 12-a-side minimum to start season, dropping from 30 to 28 to be like other minimums for roster size. The minimum to start season total must be met one week, seven days, prior to the team's first game. Changes were made to recommendations for recommended to play game and maximum to begin thinking of other alternative options. And these can be noted in the chart below. Football Canada is working with various groups to review the current structure laid out in the LTAD and provide recommendations and mandates that specifically look at areas not covered in LTAD 1.0.